1 John 2, 1, I write these things to you that you may not sin, beloved. But if we do sin, know this, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. What an assurance. We have got someone who knows the judge. Jesus, the judge's son, is our advocate. We're in Thursday's lesson today. We're talking about Jesus Christ, our amazing advocate. And I can't help but feel good about the fact that the judge and the and his son are related and that they are working in my behalf in the judgment. The Bible tells us that the sacrifice of Jesus is so good that he only had to do it one time. We'll study today and we'll learn right here from Hebrews chapter 10, oh, verses 9 to 14. The Bible says that, 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 you know, in the, in the earthly sanctuary, the, the priest would have to come day after day, sacrifice after sacrifice, doing the same thing over and over again. After a time, it ceased to be efficacious. People did it out of rote. They did it out of just, just regularity and fashion. It lost its meaning. Jesus, comes and dies, and his one sacrifice cancels out everything else that was done previously and that will be needed in the future. Through him and his one sacrifice, he has brought to us a more perfect salvation, a more perfect sacrifice, a more perfect opening for our uh, a cleansing and our transformation that has ever been before. This lesson study today is telling us in no uncertain terms we have an amazing high priest because his one sacrifice has gotten it done. But that's not all it says to us. While Christ has died for us, his intercession, listen to this statement by Ellen White, the intercession of Christ in man's behalf in the sanctuary above is as essential to the plan of salvation as was his death on the cross. There are some people who are only concerned about what he has done on the cross that he has covered them with his righteousness and their sins. But beloved, his ministration in the most holy place, his ministration in the heavenly sanctuary, says Ellen White, is as efficacious for us as was his death on the cross. It is that ministration that gives us power to live with expectancy, not only of sins being taken away, but being taken away forever and us being transformed into the very image of God. The process of sanctification is a process that Jesus helps engineer as he is ministering in the most holy place. He didn't just die for us. He lives for us. And because he lives for us, we too can live. So as we study today, help us not to forget, oh God, that Jesus Christ has offered a great sacrifice for us. And because of that, because he is our high priest, he is a better advocate than we could ever have anywhere else on the planet. And I, for one, am glad that Jesus is my advocate.